Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, a master club fitter at Second Swing. Today we are outside in some pretty extreme heat, I would say, at least for my taste. But we're outside in the heat on the driving range, and we're going to be testing some game improvement irons. Uh, of course, at Second Swing, we realize a lot of golfers like to buy used irons rather than buying something brand new. And so today we have four of the most popular game improvement used irons uh, in our inventory. Um, of the four, I've got Titleist T200 and Ping G410, and then you've got TaylorMade Sim Max and Callaway Maverick. So we've got all kind of the regular stock graphite shafts here, about 60 grams or so. So Jackie, you've been fitting customers into a lot of these irons yep. um, all year, very popular um, options. Uh, I know you actually get, you actually gained the T200, right? Yep. So you ha very much know about that one. Um, what do you think we're gonna see here today? Yeah, I think the numbers are gonna be, you know, fairly similar uh, in, to some respect, but there is some different lofts slightly. Mm -hmm. So um, I would expect that like uh, G410 probably gonna go a little bit further in distance mm -hmm. uh, compared to the others. But okay. uh, I would also say like with the Maverick, that might be a little bit hotter too. So I would expect those two probably to be the furthest ones and the other two would be just yeah. behind that. But um, yeah, I, I think the numbers uh, will be interesting to see kind of the differences here. Uh, and yeah, we fit a lot of people into these yeah. most of the time. Anyone I get in for like an in-flight fitting, so used irons, uh, one of these typically tends to be the winner because uh, they just fit the, mm -hmm. fit the most people, so. For sure, yeah. And actually the T200 is more of a kind of a player's distance. Yep. Um, whereas the other three are maybe game improvement, but we'll kind of throw them all into the test here today and, and uh, we'll see what happens. But Jackie, you're warmed up. I mean, it didn't take much to warm up today. <laughs> no. So uh, you ready to hit some shots here? Let's go. All right, so Jackie, what are we starting with here today? T200, which is my gamer, uh, right, Tensai uh, Red Regular. Okay, all right, Let's see what you got. What would you say your typical kind of seven iron numbers are? I would say carry about 130. Okay. Kind of depends on what ball I play. But. True. Well, today we are hitting with Titleist Pro V1X practice balls. Yep. All right, so six shots, Jackie, with the Titleist T200. So now, you know, you've been playing these irons, you're very used to them, but what would you kind of give a quick summary to the viewers? You know, explain the T200s, what yeah. people will like about them. Yeah, um, I like them because honestly, at a dress, it, they look clean. Uh, they're not clunky or anything. Mm -hmm. They look very more, much more like a blade, but they definitely have the forgiveness um, of a game improvement. So I think that's why a lot of people tend to like them is basically because of that. Uh, you get a little bit more distance than like say like the AP2 that okay. I used to play, um, which is why I went to this because I like the feel of them and uh, got a little bit more distance because of that. So okay. uh, I, I also like the ball flight it tends to have when I'm striking them well, getting a little bit more height, a little bit more spin than say like a game improvement. But you know, obviously lofts are going to be a little different right. uh, as we'll talk about here, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we've talked about it. This is 30 degrees a lot to the yep. 7R9 T200. It's going to vary based on the different models we have today. Uh, but if you were curious about your numbers there, you were carrying it about 132 on average, total about 139. Yep. So, um, which is I mean, about right. about what you yeah. said. I mean, you were, you were guessing about 130 carry, so that's pretty darn close. And then uh, one thing to note, your spin rate was almost 7,000 RPM. So, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good spin number to have for 7R9. But... Now we can transition into, what do we want to do, Maverick here? Yeah, let's do it. You got that nice little fade working today. Oh yeah. Mm, a little chunky maybe. That's a good one.
All right. So, Jackie, that was six shots now at the Callaway Maverick. Now, that's at 27 degrees, so we'll take note of that when we look at these numbers. But I just wanted to get your opinion on how it looks and how it feels compared to the T200 that you hit. Yeah, the top line is a little bit thicker, as I'd expect. Um, a little bit more poppy, so it definitely okay. has – it's hot, like, mm -hmm. compared to the T200 that I hit. So, I mean, I'd expect it to go a little bit farther just mm -hmm. because of that. Sure. Um, so but you, yeah, I mean, it felt forgiving. Yeah. So I mean, that's I think all of these clubs are going to be very forgiving, yeah. and they're also going to give you a lot of pop. Um, and maybe if you're someone that is struggling with hitting your irons far enough, or you need some extra distance out of those clubs, all really all four of these models are going to be great for that. Um, looking at these numbers quickly and the dispersion here, so we'll see that yeah, they're, I mean they're pretty similar actually through the through uh, T200 and Maverick. Your spin dropped by about 300 RPM. Um, down to 6,500 with the Maverick. And your carry distance is almost identical at 132, but rolling out further with the Maverick yeah. because of low spin. So um, interesting there. Um, I mean, I, I'm curious now because we have varying lofts here. We kind of have, we had 30 with the T200. Um, we had 27 here, I believe seven Sim Max and G410 are kind of in that similar, they're in between there. So we'll see how things change here. But so far the numbers are pretty similar actually. All right. That was good. That's a good one. Yeah. I notice a sound. It's like, it's very much quieter with this compared to the first two, it seems like. Uh, should be. There's a slight miss there. That's a good one. Yeah. It's right at the target too. Oh, wow, you were flushing those. That was a little short. But... So, G410. First of all, again, I'm going to ask you, look and feel. I mean, now, you have, now you've got to compare the Maverick NT200 with that. How does that feel? This one felt better than the Maverick, I'd say. Definitely like the feel of it better. Mm -hmm. Just kind of a little bit more smooth. Felt like I hit center of the face a little bit better, Okay. which I probably did. Um, and it, uh, I, th I thought the Maverick was actually louder than the Ping, which is interesting. I did too. I did too. Usually you get right with ping. Yeah. You think of their kind of maybe louder, more, um, you know, trademarked yeah. noise, but I thought Maverick was a lot louder, which is good and bad. Depends on the player. Sometimes yeah. people like it louder. Sometimes people don't. Um, interesting here. You actually had more spin with G410 than anything so far. Um, I would say your dispersion was a little bit tighter. And then I think what we're going to do here too, is we'll take maybe one shot out from each club and then yeah. we'll really see how the best five shots performed here. Um, Interesting though, I mean, right now it's a little, it's pretty similar all across the board. I think you maybe just had one miss hit there that did bring things down for G410 maybe more than the other ones. Yeah. Um, all right, last club here, TaylorMade Sim Max. Oh, I pulled that one, but. It's a little tug. Interesting. I think you're hitting this one lower too. Yeah. That was good. That last one was really good. All right, so Jackie, that was a TaylorMade Sim Max now. Um, so last of four. Again, look and feel anything that jumps out at you with the Sim Max, or is it kind of similar to maybe one of the other ones you tried? Uh, yeah, the, I mean, the top line looks really similar to like the Maverick. Okay. Um, but like a little bit, this look a little bit better just because like the face actually on the backside, or not okay. the face, I guess, but yeah. the back end of the club. Yeah. 
Um, and I mean, not trying to be biased, but I like the shaft. It just feels okay. Uh, but I play the shaft in my hybrid, my ferry wood, and my okay. driver, so doesn't surprise me there. As far as the like feel the face though, like a little clicky. Okay. I don't know. Uh, okay. Probably one of the reasons why I don't play it is because of that. Just because I I've tried them before and. I mean, they felt forgiving, but mm -hmm. not crazy about the clickiness that it creates. So, okay. um, but yeah, I mean, it feels good. It yeah. just, uh, yeah. It was Preference. definitely louder than yeah. the G410, which you had just yeah. hit, I think. Um, yeah. Looking at dispersion here, so we can kind of see a little bit. No, I did notice, and you mentioned this too when you were hitting. For whatever reason, you were turning the club over a little bit yeah. easier with Sim Max. You had a couple that you pulled a little bit farther left than maybe the other ones. Um, so that's something to note that maybe I mean, it could be part of the club. It could just be the way you were swinging, but there's a little bit of a tendency to go left here yep. for you with these irons compared to the others. Now, looking at the, the table here with all the numbers, so overall, pretty consistent club speed, right around 74 to 75 miles an hour. Um, the lowest spin was Maverick. 27 degrees a lot to do that to a club. Mm -hmm. um, but total, I mean, you were pretty dialed with your carry number there. You said seven iron about 130, and everything's between 128 and 132.4. Um, and so with the lowest being G410 and then the highest carry distance being Maverick. Um, and then looking at spin, again, all of them are pretty similar spin too, right around 6,500, kind of right up just under 7,000 for spin. So um, numbers are pretty comparable. Um, and I think what's interesting here is you're able to consistently, for the most part, even when you did maybe miss, you're mm -hmm. getting the ball out there, carrying at 125 at the least, up to about 135. Yep and you're getting it pretty darn straight at the target for the most part. Yep. Yeah, um, they all, I mean, just from testing, like um, people come in for a fitting, most of them are very comparable in terms mm -hmm. of numbers. The biggest thing is gonna be uh, feel, um, you know, what your preference is on feel. Yeah. And whether you like the feel of something maybe a little bit hotter versus something that might, you know, flight a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. I, I maybe a little bit with like I would would have thought the Maverick would have maybe gone a little bit farther. Okay. Um, but interesting. I kind maybe, of agree because of the loft. Yeah, and, the difference and maybe it's just how I hit it. I didn't like feel entirely like confident with that one just because of the I didn't don't care for the look. But yeah, um, that could be how I was just swinging those six shots. Sure. But yeah. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's part of this testing too. Is you know. For as repeatable as your swing is, yeah, um, it does. It is everything's player dependent, as we say. Yeah. Um, so, you know, those of you watching that say that maybe like one of the results here on these irons, or you like one and maybe weren't completely satisfied with the results that this test showed, you know, it's all about how you swing the club. So, um, that's why you recommend coming into a fitting at yeah. a second swing, working with someone like Jackie uh, to get your iron game dialed in. And the nice thing too with the quick play program at Second Swing is we have a ton of these iron sets in stock yeah. that we can customize, ship out within one day. Um, so they're ready to go for you. So uh, Jackie, I mean, a lot of shots were hit today, a lot of data here, um, as the viewers can see. We're in the heat, so I'm gonna kinda yeah. let you go here, but <laughs> thanks for joining and providing your feedback today. Thank you.